Well now, this could be fun. It isn't Goku. Well now, this could be fun. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this! So that's all, huh? But if it isn't him, then who is it? Huh. What's going on? Chee. So it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk, I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just what I'm missing from this guy. That was pathetic. That was pathetic. To go. You done already? What the hell's going on? That was pathetic. At all, huh? Uh. Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power. <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. Possible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going?
<laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then, allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there. So that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. Unfortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that- Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth! Take your lies and get out of here! <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. And you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you, Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! 
<laughs> Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Uh, what the hell's with this guy? You're not my brother. You're nothing to me! What's wrong? You scared? Yeah, go on, get out of here! Rock, paper, scissors! Do you know what? This planet isn't half bad. I think it could serve as our next target. The three of us Saiyans should be able to rid this place of its dead weight in just one month. Your kid's in real trouble if this is the best you can do. Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Give him back. Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> no! No! Palma, you still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it! That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball! All right, I'm off! It's now or never! You're as good as dead on your own! Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. I guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Huh? 
Give me a break. Thank you! <sighs> hey! Yeah! Flying Nimbus! Hold tight, Gohan, we're coming! Earth's dream team to the rescue! Gohan, just a little longer. Goku, get a move on. Quit messing around. You really don't recall anything about the Saiyans that Raditz clown was going on about? Nope, none of it rings a bell. It's crazy. I had no idea I had an older brother either. <laughs> I was hoping to milk some useful information out of you for our fight. His tail's probably his weak point. If we can squeeze his tail, he should be vulnerable. That's what happened whenever mine got grabbed. How are we supposed to grab his tail? We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No! He's using a device that tells him our strengths as well as our location. Safe to say he probably knows we're close by. Gotcha. I'm guessing that means we just gotta meet him head on. I'm pumped up and ready to go! Done already? Ah! There he is! Look! Time to land! Level of 710. Where the hell? K Kakarot's kid? No way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one? No, there's two. 
with power levels 322 and 334. They've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back! Where is he? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength. Man, he's fast. <laughs> If this is the best you can do, then you can just forget about joining us. You're nothing but a distraction. Try this! Take this! No way! Game ends now. <laughs> Even with your combined power, you're still pathetic. But considering you weren't smart enough to heed my warning, don't deserve to live. You, you gotta be kidding me! You know what? Since you're going to die anyway, I might as well tell you something. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier? They're even more powerful than me. Uh if you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death. I'm just gonna need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> gonna need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. You? Alone? What were you two trying to decide who gets to die first? We ain't planning on losing. <laughs> My power! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Playtime's over! Daddy's gonna save you! <laughs> Are you actually that stupid?! No one can save you! You'll be long dead before that could happen! No way! This game ends now! show you mercy just because you're my little brother. Yes! Yes, that's what I like to hear. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. You're next. Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it. Oh, what is this kid? 
Just were. <laughs> I, I... You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. Damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe. Once they've learned that I've died, they will come here. How long until then? When, when will they... When do you think they'll get here? Uh, a year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. You two have no hope. Beating them. <laughs> Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! Krillin, you know, dying is a lot worse than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, but don't you worry. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Go! 
Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. Hey, what? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz! The bastard went and got himself killed! He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000 mile long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. 
However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes, we've got to mock down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Mana, mana what work? Now then. To help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually, kind of in a hurry. Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right. Next question. Correct. Of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, yes, King Yemma. You are more powerful. Right. Next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother, he wasn't an Earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, King Yama, uh, I... Uh... Whatever. Moving on. Sorry, but that's incorrect. Huh? What? This is the fifth question, right? Really? Um, one, two, three... 
Hmm. D of course it was. I I was just testing you. And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trademark denial of his. Hmm. I heard that, Kami. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hmm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to. No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma. I haven't. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who, who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. If his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be able to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. But... But... I... I... I'm no... I'm no good at fighting! Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya. Uh, wait! It's scary out here! Don't 